so I don't know what will become of this video, but um, but I just um, I've been sort of maybe a bit too isolated for too long, and so I perhaps feel like I just want to get some stuff off my chest because on the internet, you know, everyone has an opinion and everything, and um, makes videos, and I listen and I watch and. And I have my opinions, but I tend to stay quiet because I hate fighting with people. But but um, after a while, you get a bit frustrated. You just want to throw your yourself out there as well. And since this is my channel, I thought, well, I can make what I want with it. So anyway, uh, I've had, had some struggles lately emotionally. Um, mentally and what not and um, let's see how I get into this subject and if my phone survives um, I've been thinking about being a woman in particular and my own you know future prospects or something I've and how I sort of deal with that myself and my self image um, so I, hmm, how do I get into it? I've sort of spent some time both in the past and right, you know, relatively recently reading some old writings and reading what philosophers, because I used to be very interested in philosophy, so this is where I'm coming from. I know not every woman can relate to this and I've talked to others that say they don't relate, but been reading philosophy, been reading about these great thinkers and what they've been saying and things like that. And it's like something that is a bit tough because I, I admire a lot of them on one hand and I think they're interesting. Um, something that is a bit difficult, it's, you know, <laughs> Knowing, reading about what they said about women, um, <laughs> because it's like a lot of it was not just like not just sexist by you know casual sexist stuff, but it was like women are deformed and things like that. You know, women are some sort of abomination, and um, um, and it's. I just get this general sense when I read uh, stuff from history as well as uh, all kinds of stuff that there's this, and also in other countries where they will kill, you know, female fetuses or female babies, they will just abandon. That's something I've been looking into also, this female infanticizing that's going on like in India and China and consistently it just seems like the world has some sort of a innate inherent hatred for women, which I know is a bit extreme to say that, and I don't mean every single individual hates women, but there's just this cons consistent theme throughout history that women are seen as burdensome, you know, something to be kept away, and so that um, it has affected how I view, like, whether I'm wanted in the world or not, because I feel like, you know, apart from just being a bit weird and not having friends and social connections, the fact that I'm a woman, it, it means that some people are never going to respect me um, in a, a meaningful way, like they would with men. Um, and some people just don't think I have any value whatsoever, like I'm just a burden on society because, well, you got the Elliot Roger types and those who really hate women and on the internet it's very wide, widespread. Um, so where, where was I? Um, so, um, yeah, the, it's history, it's the study of history, I mean, and I'm reading about, you know, women's rights and things like that and the, um, it's because there's never really been a situation from where I can see when men have been the oppressed ones it's always like women are the oppressed ones and I know it's 
the, the degree of oppression has been varying and in some apparently if Wikipedia is correct, which, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But I read um, that uh, women in ancient Egypt had the same rights as men. So that might actually have been the case. So uh, it might have been the case that there was technically not oppression in the legal sense in some societies. But, um, you know, if there's oppression against any one sex, then it's almost like with a few exceptions, it's almost um, always against women. And with the exception, I, I'm going to say with the military, because I think that, you know, being sent to fight and die is... I mean, you you are privileged if you don't have to put up with that. So there's no, there's no denying that that is obviously like a, a way in which men have been targeted specifically and been put through... Th horrible things that women don't have to deal with. Um, so I just want to be fair. And uh, and then there's the internet. And on the internet, I mean, it's just full of men. Absolutely. Especially in this, these communities where I move, where people talk about how they're lonely and they don't fit into society. Because that's my sort of gang in a sense. Because I am lonely and I don't fit in. But holy... The, I mean, the attitudes towards women, it's like, they can never concede a single point uh, to, you know, the feminist or something. It's always just, it's so much worse to be a lonely man than a lonely woman. And about that, it's like, well, suffering is subjective, so, I mean, who's really to tell what's worse, really? I mean, I don't know. You could point to concrete examples, but I mean... At the end of the day, it's like, if you feel like you want to die, then does it really matter exactly what the reasons are? Because, I mean, it's still subjective. You can still feel absolutely terrible, even if you're supposed to theoretically have certain advantages. But I feel like a lot of these people, a lot of the men in these communities, they don't grant that in, like at all. They just like, well, you're a woman, so you have nothing to complain about. You're so lucky, you know. You, can, you will never have to worry about not having a, a partner and things like that. Um, so because that's the communities I've been in, because it's been so relentless, uh, that's why I feel like I've, this frustration has been building up inside of me. And yes, if I look sweaty, it's because I am absolutely dying over here. My room is a sauna. And also because I'm a bit agitated. Um, so that's like, that's something that just puts you outside of the communities, makes you feel like, okay, I don't really have much of a place here. But then there is the feminist community. Um, and what do they do? Well, they spend all their time highlighting examples of men who say horrible things about women. So it's like, okay... I feel like I need a, a bit of a, a breath of fresh air after hearing all those, you know, getting all these videos about how women are terrible and women ruin society and never trust a woman. And then it's like, okay, I go to feminist forum and they're all like, yeah, men hate us. This is a million examples of how men hate us. So it's like, regardless, regardless of which community in it, it's just constantly you're getting reminded of misogyny and misogynistic men. It's like, where are all the normal people? Okay, I know, it's a bit ironic for me to talk about normal people and whatnot, and I don't know how, how many, uh, you know, moderate people there are, but I mean, internet makes it seem like there's nobody who's a, a slightest bit nuanced, and... I don't know if it's because people truly have these extreme opinions or if there's such an incredible sort of bias in the sense that the people who use the internet the most are truly like this extreme minority of people. But I just wonder like where where do I get people who who are who are willing to just think a bit deeper instead of just immediately going nope I I hate all I hate all people of this group or something and you're all terrible and you don't know what you're talking about and 
I don't know, it's just this constant, 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 just talk, I feel like I'm being showered with examples of how I'm hated by the entire world and nowhere where I can go to just have a reasonable, like interesting, deeper discussion about these things because it's all just name calling and, and everything. Okay, so I, now I, now that I've been sort of releasing that, I don't know if it would be appropriate to perhaps move on a bit to, yeah, to towards other thoughts regarding the subject in question. And because I started off sort of giving a background and then I got sort of worked up over the extremism. Um. Okay, I think I'll do it part two.